Your ankle joint is made from three different bones. You can think of the ankle joint in simple terms as being a connection between your leg and your foot. Your leg bone has two bones inside of it. The largest leg bone is called the tibia and it's sometimes simply called the shin bone. The tibia is located on the inside of your leg and you can actually feel the bone of your tibia beneath the skin if you run your fingers down the inside of your leg. The end of the tibia is responsible for the knuckle or bump on the inner side of your ankle. The smaller bone on the outside of the leg is called the fibula and this is what causes the little knuckle on the outer side of your ankle down in here. Now the tibia and the fibula lock securely around your ankle bone which is called the talus. A good analogy for this is if my fist is the talus, the tibia and the fibula lock over the top of it like that. There are three main sets of ligaments that keep the ankle joint stable. These are located on the inner side of the joint, the outer side of the joint and also above the ankle joint. The ligaments on the inner side or medial aspect of the ankle joint are called the deltoid ligament complex. The ligaments on the outer side or lateral aspect of the ankle joint are called the anterior talofibular ligament and also the calcaneofibular ligament. Now in order to avoid getting too tongue tied we usually just refer to them as simply the ATFL and the CFL. You can think of the deltoid, ATFL and CFL as being the main ligaments that connect the leg bones to the ankle bone and the foot. And these are also the ligaments that are damaged with what most people would consider an ankle sprain. Both of the bones inside your leg, or the tibia and the fibula, are held together by very strong ligaments. Now these ligaments all together are known as the syndesmosis. Now these syndesmosis ligaments even though we can't see them on a dry skeleton model like this, begin life right down here at the ankle joint and they run all the way up the leg until they reach the bottom of the knee joint. Now a syndesmosis injury is sometimes called a high ankle sprain and the reason for that is this, is that most of the ankle ligaments that we're aware of are down here at the level of the ankle joint. But because the syndesmosis ligaments run all the way up the leg above the ankle, an injury to that can often be called a high ankle sprain. Syndesmosis injuries are usually more severe than normal ankle sprains and sometimes they require surgery. Your ankle joint mainly moves in two directions, up and down. We call bringing the ankle upwards towards the sky, dorsiflexion, and bringing it downwards towards the floor, plantar flexion. Now there is also a joint beneath your ankle joint and this is called the subtalar joint. And this joint is what really allows your foot and ankle to move from side to side. We call these side to side movements inversion and eversion. And you need these types of movements for walking on uneven ground, such as along the side of a hill. They also help with moving rapidly from side to side, like when trying to dodge around an opponent in sport. All of the ankle joint bones are covered in a smooth, spongy substance called articular cartilage. And this is what allows the bones to glide gently over each other without pain. The articular cartilage also acts like a cushion, protecting the bones beneath from too much shock. The ankle bone is actually quite small, less than 5 centimetres across, yet it takes several times your body weight when you run. That's a lot of force concentrated through a very small area. Compare that to the knee joint, which is almost three times the size of the ankle. So the ankle joint is quite prone to injury and arthritis if it is damaged or unstable. So that's a basic summary of how your ankle joint works. If you would like to learn more about ankle injuries, then you'll find individual videos on each of these topics on my website. Because I have a special interest in acute ankle injuries, I keep some appointments free every week to see patients who need to be seen quickly. This means I can usually see you within a few days if required and surgery could be arranged soon after this if necessary. If you'd like to talk to me about your ankle, then please call my rooms at any time to arrange an appointment. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, then I can easily arrange these prior to seeing you.